John Johnson here. I'm here at Wrigley Field. Actually, no. It's an elementary school baseball field run down in Pennsylvania. But you get the idea. Baseball start. We're here to do the news. Where? Where the hell is Hank? Hank. You wait for me, I wait for you. This is how this works. How you guys doing? My current is in here. That was a hell of a slide. Thank you. It's gonna hurt. Very hard. That. No comment. Somebody's birthday is this weekend. Hank Anderson's. Happy birthday, buddy. Thank you. Got it. 35. 35? What, dog years? I wish. <laughs> Which brings us to our first story, huh? Absolutely. What do you got for us, Hank? It's your birthday. Why don't you lead it off? Mark this day in your calendar, folks. I have a calendar. I'll hmm. remember it, though. Because on this day, history was made. Was made. In the month of April, Guinness Book of World Records have now recognized Toby Keith as a record holder. Like the country singer? No, not the country singer. Okay. The Chihuahua. Chihuahua. Born on January 9th, 2001. 2001. Toby Keith is the oldest living dog. My God. In celebration of being named world's oldest dog. World's oldest dog. Toby Keith's owner took her, or him, not sure, on a nice car ride, got a nice bath, and got her, him, nail stripped. Sounds like a pretty good weekend. Yeah, very good. A little pampering. Do everyone good. Can't beat that. All right. Is that, is that, that's it? That's it for that one. Okay, that's pretty fun. I also have a dog story. A dog with three legs battling cancer rescues an Damn otter it, Sarah. from the river. I got my coffee. Okay. Get your shit together. I know it's your birthday. Gus, the golden doodle, has been through a lot these last couple of years, but that didn't stop him. From rescuing a baby otter. We need more people to take after Gus, the good boy. Were you listening to a word I said? Something about Gus. Gus is a three-legged dog. With three cancer. legs? Three legs, and he saved an otter, a baby otter, from a lake. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty crazy, right? Mind yeah. blown. Mind blown. What you got, Hank? I got a treasure hunter named George Tyndale. Uncharted. Pulled up a whale of a good story in April. Well, what, what Not happened? to be confused by an actual whale. No. While he was searching the river Whitham in Lincolnshire. Lincolnshire. He pulled up a safe containing thousands of dollars. Thousands of dollars. But what would he do with all this money, you may ask? I don't know. He spent it all on X-rated movies. X-rated movies. Sorry about that. Darn writers. Wait, what? Sorry, it's a typo. Writers messed me up. Who wrote that? Sean Charts. Ah, can't rely on Shawnee. He did not spend any of the money, actually. Wow. He returned it to the owner, who told them the safe was stolen 22 years ago. Jesus, God. What was really nice, though, was the business owner also offered him a job but the 15-year-old politely declined until he gets out of school. Wait till you're done school. Stay in school. Very smart, kid. Okay. That's it. Okay, there we go. All right, where are we at? The world's largest wildlife crossing is currently being built in California. Spanning across 10 lanes of highway with animals, including a mountain lion, and that, that's all I saw in the article, but there's going to be other animals. Just one mountain lion? Well, there's going to be multiple. It's 10 miles of highway, so it's going to be like a lot. Good. Kind of like uh, Jumanji's Alive Again, oh, like legally. Boy. You know, not the Kevin Hart one, though. The one with Rob Williams. But that was a good one, though. I didn't mind it. We saw. Did we see that together? No. I thought so. It was enough. But never mind. But anyway, on charts, maybe. I don't think he would have done that. Anyway. Um, I think it's great these animals have a place to live and go, so it's going to be a giant, giant wildlife. I guess it's kind of like a conservation, 
in California. So, big ups to you, Kelly. They're good for one thing, that's for sure. All right. What amazing time to be a rainforest, huh? Absolutely. A Virginia nonprofit committed like the five. Fern, Fern Gully, the movie, remember that? Oh, that was a good movie. Beautiful, great Disney movie. Check yeah. it out. You got Disney Plus? Yep. Yeah. Is it on there? I'm pretty sure. Okay. Fern Gully. A Virginia nonprofit committed five hundred million dollars to preserve the rainforest. Million dollars. So far in 2022. More than one million acres of habitat have been protected. One million acres protected. Since 1988, Rainforest Trust have safeguarded more than 38 million acres. 38 million. And about 99% of the forest protected stand in tall today. 99%, that's pretty good. Their goal is to protect 125 million more acres by 2025. That's two more years, three more years. Keep that place in mind. Rainforest Trust, rainforest if you care trust. about the rainforest. I know I do. I may not before, but I definitely do now. That's good to hear. Absolutely. The U.S. Army gives an old Italian woman who's 90 years old a birthday cake. After when she was 13, her mother made one in the military ate it while on duty. I know this sounds like a very weird story, but such a story yeah, where are you going really with brings tears to my eyes because she was such a sweet lady and it just shows you the wait is never long enough for a good piece of cake. Got that right. Uh, what kind are you getting for your birthday, Hank? What's your favorite? Hold on a second, guys. What's your favorite kind of cake? Ice cream cake. Ice cream cake. That's pretty can't good. go wrong. You can't because it's got ice cream and cake. It's like it's like having ice cream and cake. It's like a double whammy. Best of both worlds. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is a short story. Short stories. People that have diabetes will be happy about this one, hopefully. Pay attention. The House passed legislation created an out-of-pocket copay limit of $35 per month for insulin. That's not bad at all. Yeah, let's just hope the price keeps a dropping. Absolutely. I like these gas prices. I know, man. That's, that's for another day. Maybe in May. That, that was the whole story? That was a that short story. That was a very, story. very, very short story. Okay. Now this one is very, very interesting. Oregon Wastewater Facility is now turning sewage into renewable energy. Do you know what renewable energy is, Hank? No, what is it? Renewable energy is like basically, like you know how you recycle your bottles? This is like recycling energy and turning things into energy. And fecal matter is like poop and pee and stuff like that. And they're turning it into energy. So I create my own? Absolutely. They've been using methane gas from human waste to generate energy and bolster resilience. You know, I do have one question, though. I wonder if Johnny Depp can use Amber Heard's turds to pay the power bill in his house. You think he saved it? No. Uh, turn a poop into electricity. Amazing what technology can do nowadays. Give me one. Now, is there anything special you want for your birthday? This is, uh, this I saw another story here. Oh, you do have a story. Yeah. Oh, that's right. We have to cut. One second. Oh. Um, we have a, a, a new segment here. Um, his name is Wally, and he's a weatherman. So we'll cut it to you, Wally the weatherman. What's going on? Hey, I'm Wally the weatherman. The m showed heavy amounts of rain. Hope it dries up next month. On the Doppler cam, it shows a cold front coming in from the West Coast. Back to you, John and Hank. I'm Wally. Um, uh, you were saying? Okay, it's hard to come from, uh, you know, after that one. Uh, yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. From May 4th to the 6th, at a few hours past midnight in the northern hemisphere. Northern hemisphere. Have your eyes to the skies and view the beauty of a meteor shower. Oh my god. At a aqua rid could reveal as many as 20 to 30 meteors per hour. That's a lot. You could say the sky will be slinging a lot of rocks those nights. Jeez. If you are in the southern hemisphere, be prepared 
to see about 40 per hour. 40 meteor showers an hour. That is amazing. Unbelievable. And that's it for me. Sorry we've been gone for so long. We had our reasons. We apologize. But we will be back. And it's a special day. It's Hank's birthday weekend. He's going to have ice cream cake. Well, anything else you're going to do? Nope. That, that's kind of a drag. Uh, so Sunday. Thank you for watching Perpetual News. This has been April's Positive News. John Johnson signing off. Hank Anderson. Have a good day.